What goes on guys? We're back here again with yet another review and today for the first time in a long time We're gonna be taking a look at some dinos my friends We're gonna be taking a look at the brand new Mattel Jurassic Park 30th anniversary Hammond collection series Geosporangia the Pachycephalosaurus and the Concavenator now It's been a while since I've picked up some dinosaurs. So this makes me very happy to take a look at them so starting off with which one I found first, we're going to take a look at the Concavenator. So the box is pretty standard with what you've seen from the line so far. I think the box is clean. It's got little plastic, but still enough so you can see the figure in it. Here on the back, you get a great product image of it. And then a little bit due to, uh, or like a little bit of a read up over there. And then you get some cool product shots on the side. I like the way that they do that. Here is the barcode if you're looking for it. I always like to give you that for you guys. But uh, there's his box. Then I found the Geosporangia. Um, now this is actually part of the 30th anniversary. I didn't notice it at first, but the Concavenator is not. I don't really care. I just want dinosaurs to be completely honest with you. So um, the Geosporangia, weird pterosaur, technically not a dinosaur, um, but there is your little read up for it right there. Um, I'm sure these were in like some of the Jurassic um, scenes where all the pterosaurs are out of the gates and this, that, or the other, but very weird take or like, alley to go down with this dinosaur i think it's awesome and it's a new species for my shelf so i'm okay with it here is the barcode for this guy and then finally our little guy for the series the pachycephalosaurus which oddly enough i think is the one i was most excited for um i definitely want to get at least one more of these i'm probably going to shoot for two so i can have them like bumping heads um me, uh, my brother and I always used to just call them bump heads when we were kids. Um, so there's his little readout, really cute. Um, and then on the side, you get to see that. And then the barcode. This one was the $14.99, whereas the other ones were 20 bucks. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start with the Concavenator. Now, this isn't um, my least favorite out of this set. Usually I do like my least favorite to favorite. This is actually probably my favorite, to be honest with you. But... I really do like him. Um, the paint is really, really nice on him, and his articulation is better than most um, whoa, that I've seen in the series so far, which is nice. Hopefully that stays. What the hell? It's like... Yeah! I think that's... Dude, what the hell? All right, let me try it this way. All right. That's in. So there's a notch, so I'm just making sure that you line them up. But taking a look at the head sculpt here, I really, really like the way that his face looks with all the scoots and the scales running down the back of his neck. I love the little points there. I love the underbelly. Like, the paint could have been a little bit better, but something like scales, it, it oddly enough works, at least in my eyes. The mouth does open. I wish the tongue was a different color and the paint on and the teeth were a little bit sharper, but I understand, you know, it's kind of marketed toward kids as well i like the darker paint that gets like gradient into a lighter orange it's a really nice touch there's a lot of paint on this guy believe it or not um you do get the claws he's got like more hands which i think is cool the nails are all painted which is so nice to see on mattel figures i think a wash would have done good on the gray parts but then you get to this orange ombre this is a skishy part on the back of them it's like a separate piece um I like that, but it blends nice. The seam is relatively well hidden. The brown to the orange, all the way to the orange of the tail. It's very nice. Um, now, I actually don't know if this dinosaur is supposed to have like a, like a stop in its sail, or if it's supposed to be one and they cut it for articulation. Either way, I think it's a very unique look for the dinosaur. So I think that it works really well. I think my biggest complaint that I have with this guy is the fact that the dew claw is not painted. That, oh, I hate that. That really bothers the hell out of me. So, um, but other than that, it's very well painted and well articulated. Um, obviously, you get no accessories with these kinds of things. I don't know, really know what you would want with a dinosaur. Certain dinosaurs I could see, but this one, you know, I don't really think he needs much. So in terms of articulation, the head's on a ball joint this time. So you can get very good side to side and, co and coalition with the neck. You can get like pretty much 90 degrees to the side. That's awesome. You've not been able to do that before. You just got to like bend it correctly, show your angles right. Ah! But <laughs> it does look nice. And then the head opens up. The jaw opens. You can get them to look all the way up. Look at that. Again, like 90 down. You can get them to go like that if you want to. Again, you would just have to angle the pictures correctly. I like this, Mattel. Keep doing this kind of setup for the ball joints. 
it's not going down all the way, but do your setup like that. The shoulder will hinge outwards down, it'll rotate all the way. The elbow has a single hinge and then that swivels and then the wrist actually swivels and hinges, which is nice. No torso articulation, I don't really care. The hips will rotate. The stifle will hinge forward and back and rotate. The um, hock will hinge back, forward, pivot, and then the pastern goes up and down, and that also pivots. So um, I don't know if the anatomy is the same for dinosaurs, but it's usually um, stifle, hock, pastern, so, and then like hook. So I, I don't know. I'm going to say it is. Then you get a ball joint at the base of the tail, and then it does bend, and there's no holes in this, which is cool. The bendy wire doesn't really do much for me, to be honest. I mean, it's nice for certain things, but it only really bends back there. So it'll just be for like adjusting poses. But yeah, I really, really like this guy. <laughs> He's very surprising. Not a dinosaur that I thought we were going to be getting um, within like series two or three. I forget if this is two or three, but yeah, really, really well done. Next up, we have the Geosporangia. Now, what a cool dinosaur, dude. Like, it's so weird, and I, I don't know. It, it, technically, it's not a dinosaur, but I have a huge problem with this. Um, so let's take a look at the things that I do like first. The head sculpt is really nice. I really like the brown wash in there. The paint on the tip of the beak is nice. You do get paint on the inside of the mouth. The eyes are nice. I like the colors for the blues and the yellows and the browns. And then it goes to like this tan color. And his little feet all have paint on them as well, excuse me, with uh, his little dew claws painted, which is nice. I really like the paint in the wings. I think that that is very well done. You get like this soft plastic, and then you get like the, the elbow and the, all that. It looks very, very nice. The nails are painted on there as well. Um, and I like the blue. The blue is a nice touch. It's not something that I think it needed necessarily because it is a little off-putting at certain angles. Um, I don't like when you can see it through the hinge there, but honestly, um, if you angle it right, it looks good. It's a little choppy. I, I don't know why the hinge paint didn't cover it well. I don't know why they didn't make, well, I guess on the bottom. So it's a little off-putting. I'm not a huge fan of that. But I gotta say, the biggest issue I have with this is that it does not come with a flight stand, Mattel. Why did you do that? You have a flying animal okay, that is not necessarily known for being on the ground, and plus, the leg joints are super, super loose on this, you can get on the stand a little bit, and then typically, they are, when they're on the ground, they are quadrupedal, so you do, you can pose them like this, but there's no bendy wire up here, so it, it like, you have to angle it out, and then angle these forward, and it, it just looks silly, maybe I'm doing something wrong, and if I am, you know, tell me, but I, I don't like the way that this looks. I don't think it looks natural. You have to, like, have them completely splayed on the ground, and that that's not... I, he just needed a flight stand. The Amber Collection did that, um, so I feel like the Hammond Collection definitely can, too, because you are charging around the same price for these things. But, uh, anyway, your articulation as as follows. The beak will open and close. Very nice. The head hinges up, down, rotates... Then at the base of the neck, it goes up, down, and rotates. The wings will hinge at the shoulders up here. No road, they do rotate a little bit, but with the wings attached to the body, it's really not going to do much. And then, like I said, you get your bendy wire, and then the wrists swivel and hinge. The hip will hinge forward and back, rotate. The knee will hinge and rotate, and then the foot will hinge and swivel. So, good articulation for a bird like character, but it really needs a flight stand. And then finally, you do get the Pachycephalosaurus, which is my favorite dinosaur of the three. It might not be my favorite figure. I think the Concavenator is pretty close to perfect, um, but I really do like the Pachycephalosaurus. I love the head sculpt. I love the way they painted it, and then the gradient down on top of the bump on his head. The ossicones and the protrusions around his um, face look so nice. They're so... He looks cute, though. Like, I love his little beak. Um, and it brings down to, like, the toes. Like, they're kind of, like, the same color, and I like that. I love the color palette for him with the darker green on top of, like, the olive green. I think that's really nice. I am super disappointed that we did not get his nails did. His painted nails are non-existent. Not happy about that. The sculpt is awesome. I meant to mention that on the other guys. I really just love the sculpt of these dinosaurs. Mattel really knows how to sculpt a good reptile, man. 
um, and they do a very good job at it. I like that there's a little bit of paint underneath. Kind of wish it carried through a little bit more, maybe a little bit onto the tail, but um, yeah, it's, it's, it's not bothering me as much as I thought it would. Um, I do like that his toes are painted on there, but his dew claw's not painted neither, which is a little disappointing. So, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I kind of wish that it was. But other than that, I mean, he doesn't come with any accessories, of course, but he, he's just a cute little guy. And I definitely need at least one more to do like the, because that's how I want to pose them on my dino shelf. But anyway, the beak does open. It's so hard when you don't have nails to get in there and open it up. Don't try this at home, kids. But the mouth does open. There is pink in there. Um, it's kind of ugly with the hinge there, so I will probably just keep that shut. The hinge goes up down all the way the neck goes down and up rotates there and at the head i kind of wish they did like they did what they did with the concavenator with like pivot because there's no real pivot on this guy you can kind of like angle it weird like this like it, it's doable but it's just like eh. the shoulders go up down rotate and then you just get a hinge and swivel at the elbow the hips rotate all the way then they, at the pastern, or this is the stifle, hinge and swivel at the stifle, nothing at the hock, and then the pastern goes up, down, and pivot. You get a ball joint at the tail, so it gets rotation, pivot all the way around, and then you do get a bendy wire in the tail. No holes again. So, yeah, I really, really like his articulation. I do wish he had a hinge and swivel at the wrist, but the one at the stifle or the hock doesn't really bother me, um, the lack of it isn't really the end of the world for these smaller dinosaurs um honestly even the wrist doesn't bother me that much but yeah he looks really really cool i'm gonna do my best to show the scaling on these because they are three and three quarter inch i just put them all on like a big dinosaur shelf is what i'm eventually gonna do so i don't really care about the you know they're not super in scale as long as you know like a t-rex isn't smaller than a raptor i don't really care so Gius Barangia's wingspan is pretty big, and then you can see here. So they're definitely too small for 6-inch scale. Kind of, I don't know, they don't bother me too much. So there is the Neca Kong and the 6-inch Fortnite series Peely from Jazzwares, and then the McFarlane Toys Dark Knight Returns Batman, and Marvel Legends Darwin. So definitely too small for 6-inch figures, but again, I'm just putting them on my dinosaur shelf. And then you do get Zombie Cap, um, you know getting his head bit off by concavenator why not right so yeah i think that, i think that that's perfectly fine so some of you are out there probably wondering yo and what are you thinking of these figs and i gotta say guys they're pretty damn awesome i'm happy to get into the dinosaur game i cannot wait for ankylosaurus and um all the other ones that they're doing i don't even remember the names of some of them which is kind of a surprise for me because i am pretty good with dinosaurs but I, I, I'm just excited. My biggest hope is that at some point we'll get a huge Stegosaurus and a huge Spinosaurus. That would be amazing, 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 amazing. Um, but for now, I can deal with this stuff. Um, I don't know what I'm going to be doing with my dinosaurs eventually because I have the 6-inch scale uh, Super Colossal and then the Super Colossal Carnotaurus. But if they make them... For the $50 price point in this scale, I would get those to, I don't know. We'll just have to see when I put all my dinosaurs together. But um, at a price point of $20 for the other, for the Concavenator and the Geosporangia, I'll give them each about, an, I'll give Geosporangia a 7. I'm really not happy that he does come in a flight stand, but for $20, bucks, you are still getting a pretty cool dinosaur. But I'll give Concavenator a 9 out of 10. He's pretty awesome. And then for $15, bucks to get the little Pachycephalosaurus, I'm going to give him an 8. I wish there was a little bit more paint. Um... And I wish that they did the ball joint thing that they did for the concavenator. But either way, they're pretty damn awesome. So with that being said, I believe that's all I got for today. So if you've not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Also be sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I post a lot over there and I have a lot of fun. So I'm sure you all will too. But as always, let me know. You copping? See you guys in the next one. Peace. Sorry about my finger.